Hello and welcome. My name is Bonnie and today I want to share with you all of my Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops. Now I certainly don't have a complete set of any of the Funko Pop sets of Dragon Ball that have come out. I will pick and choose which ones I want to get depending on the character and how well designed it is. If it looks really plain, I probably won't get it because I want Funko Pops to have a really good sculpt or like really great hair detail because all the faces are all just kind of the same, you know? The only thing that's really different is the eyebrows. <laughs> so I need it to look really good in order for me to get it. So I don't have every character that I love, I just have the pops that I think are the best designed. And I am going to start off in the order that I bought them in. Now this is the first one that I got. I purchased this at GameStop and this is Tian Shinhan and Chaozu. And I love it not only because it's a two pack, but I love Tian as a character and I love Chaozu as a character. And having two in one is an awesome deal for the same price. So this is the first set that I got and Chaozu is so cute. <laughs> I really like him. I especially like him. If it had just been Tian, it would have been iffy, but because it's a two pack, I was like, absolutely. They are so adorable. One of the best teams in cinematic history, <laughs> in, in some people's opinions. The next one up is the second one I ever bought and I actually had to go to eBay to find this one. Um, and we have Son Goku on his flying Nimbus and when I watched Dragon Ball, because this one's from Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, uh, when I watched Dragon Ball it was the Japanese version with subtitles so I learned a lot of the Japanese words for things. And they didn't call it a flying Nimbus, they called it a Kintoun. So that's what I call it. <laughs> and um, I, I actually kind of prefer that, but it's so cool. His cloud, Kinto Un slash Flying Nimbus, has a little tail and that is adorable. And the sculpt, I love, I love Goku's hair, always have. And another cool detail is that he's sitting on it. And there is another version of him on his Flying Nimbus where he's standing, but I saw that one and I was like, that's not as cute. I like the sitting version. So I'd actually look this up on eBay to find it because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And he is so adorable. And also I'm going to take the pops out of the box at the end so that you can get a closer view of each pop. Next up, I got Yamcha and Poir. So cute. This is definitely the more rugged version of him when he's got his scars. I don't know if they came out with a line of him during Dragon Ball before he got the scars on his cheeks, but here he is. He's got his long hair, don't care. And Puar is adorable. Those two little tiny black eyes, they're just, they're so cute to be honest. Like it really works for the animals. It's a little off-putting with the characters, both the animals, it is so cute. And another tag team. Love my tag teams, love it when there's a two pack because it's the same price as a normal pop so you're getting a little something extra in there and I like that. And the next item up is another duo. We have King Kai and Bubbles. Now this one is absolutely adorable. I was like, how can I pass up having Bubbles as a Funko Pop? <laughs> He looks really cool. I love his sunglasses and his big smile and his like antenna hat. You'll be able to see that a little bit better when I take it out of box, but I just really like this. I love King Kai, he's so funny. Um, and what was interesting about this pop is this color blue on the outside does not match the paint job of the actual King Kai pop. He's more seafoam green slash aqua colored and, and on the box he's more actually blue. So that was one little interesting thing, like why is that different? <laughs> but other than that, I think these look great. And my very last pop to show you today is Master Roshi. And it looks like he's got a Kamehameha wave in preparation right there. This one is technically from Dragon Ball Z Super, Dragon Ball Super. 
and uh, he looks amazing, of course. Look at his beard swaying in the wind and his rippling muscles, <laughs> as well as that adorable ball. It almost looks like a marble. It's really cool, and it's a little bit see-through, and these are the other um, pops that come in this line, but I'm not planning on getting any of them. Just Roshi. <laughs> I just realized I didn't show you the backs of uh, a couple of the other ones. So I should show you this set that Yamcha and Puar come in. We have some other fellas from Dragon Ball Z and King Kai does come in that set. So I already have these two. I don't plan on getting any of the others from that set. Now in the back of Tian and Chao Zhu, we have little Gohan and Bulma and a different version of Roshi back there which are cool, but again, I'm not gonna get those ones. I love Gohan as a character, but this isn't the version of him that I wanna get. I want to get the first, very first outfit that he came in where he had that little hat and the number four star ball on top of it because that is adorable and I love that outfit and I've seen the Funko Pop online and I wanna get it if I ever run into it. All right, and now I am going to give you a close-up of all of these Funko Pops. I really wanted to show you this one again to showcase him a little more because not only is he adorable and he's sitting with his little feet together holding his legs but also he's got his tail in the back and Saiyans all have tails and he's got his extendable stick on his back and he is looking for action he just wants to fight this little kid just wants to fight give him a fight I love this one so much. So cute. Also, King Kai, I wanted to definitely make sure you could see his antenna hat. I think this is so adorable and he's so funny and he has all of the worst ridiculous jokes that he thinks are hilarious and I love him so much for it. <laughs> now I know what you've been thinking this entire video, Bonnie, you're wearing the Saiyan armor. Why don't you have a Vegeta pop? Because <laughs> I'm sure you've all been thinking exactly that this entire video. Um, well, I do want to get the Vegeta that will be released sometime this year. I don't actually know when it drops, but there's going to be a new set of Dragon Ball Z pops that releases this year. And I want to get my hands on that Vegeta. And so I am looking forward to that. I don't know if I'll get any of the other ones in the set, but it's all, I just gotta see it. And if I like it, then I might get it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And do you have Dragon Ball Z Pops? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know which ones you have and which ones you want to get your hands on. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.